So do you need a portfolio before you start selling websites? Or if you want to start doing a lead generation campaign, do you need a portfolio to show people the work you do in order to convince them to go ahead with you? Uh, my name is Marlon Marisha from Web Design Profits and today I want to speak about that because I've spoken to so many web designers in the last few weeks who have all used that uh, as a kind of a turning point in their business. I need to build a portfolio, they would say, and then once I've done that, I'll start the lead generation. And I just think that that uh, is not the way to go. Do you know, I can't remember the last time a client said to me, Marlon, can I see an example of a past site that you've done so I can uh, validate you? I just haven't had that experience. That's really what they're trying to do. If they're asking me that, they're trying to validate that I'm actually the person that I say I am. And the reality is, you don't need a portfolio to do that. And if your client, I would even say, if a client, if a prospect is saying to you, can I see your portfolio? You haven't won them over. You haven't convinced them that you're the person that should be building their website. And so a portfolio may be a crutch that you lean on if you can't uh, justify to the client why you bring value. And I would say you don't need one if you can do that in your meetings with the clients. And that's what I do. And so a client doesn't ask me for a portfolio because they believe in the intellectual property that I bring. They believe in the framework that I bring and I explain and I show how that framework maps to my website and how that website solves a problem that they have. But once they see that, they're not interested in portfolios at that point. So if you are thinking to yourself, let me build a portfolio before I start lead gen, I would say you don't need it, number one. And number two, if you just keep insisting on doing it, it's an excuse to not do lead gen. Because uh, lead gen, for many of you, is a struggle. Or you're confused, or you don't know what to do. So it's easy to go and build a portfolio, and then one day when that's done, you can go and think about the next problem. I just want to remove that problem for you. <laughs> just figure out how to generate leads. And so I want to encourage you that um, portfolios are nice. If you look at my website, I don't have a portfolio on there. What I do have is case studies. I have a case studies where it shows you clients that have got really good results. And that's what clients are interested in. But even case studies, when you're starting out, you don't need. I really believe, I very rarely um, send a case study to a client. I may talk about clients during my meetings with them. Oh, I had a client that did this. and oh, I had a client that did that. But none of them are like, prove it, Marlon. So, you know, where is the name of that person? And where's the quote? They're just not interested because by the time I'm finished with the meeting, I've established enough credibility with my intellectual property that I bring to the table that's unique to me. I have established what their problems are. And by the end, they either believe me or they don't. And I would say if they don't believe you and they want to see something else, it's because you haven't proven yourself and that's your responsibility in your sales meeting. So uh, if, if that's an excuse you're using, just remove it. Just start lead gen. You don't need a portfolio. I've seen it on so many groups, that kind of thing. I've got to build a portfolio. You don't need one. Just start getting clients. Just start reaching out to people. Start showing them that you can add value and you can build your business much quicker than you will if you spend the next six months building out a portfolio. Okay, so if you want to learn more about how to do this and how to generate more leads, I want to encourage you to book a scale session with me. It's a 15-minute chat where we take these principles, we apply it to your business and we build out a, start building out a roadmap to help you get to your goals in your web design business. So around this video somewhere, there's probably an application form or a button you can click to book a time. I encourage you to do it. I look forward to speaking to you soon.